Let's go straight to some developing news right now. A 6.9 magnitude earthquake has struck uh, Southern California a little over half an hour ago. According to U.S. Geological Survey, the epicenter of the quake was about uh, 10 miles northeast of a place called uh, Ridgecrest. This comes less than uh, two days after a 6.4 magnitude earthquake rattled Southern California. Now, this earthquake was the strongest earthquake to rock the state in 20 years. The epicenter for the first quake, too, was Ridgecrest. We're tracking that story very closely. Let's move on now to the latest on the rising tensions between Iran and the United States. Washington has called for an emergency meeting of the UN Atomic Watchdog. Now, on agenda, of course, is Iran. U.S. has called for the meeting of the International Atomic Energy Agency after Tehran reached its 2015 nuclear deal by exceeding the permitted stock of enriched uranium. Now, the IAEA has said that the Board of Governors, who represent the 35 nations, will be meeting on Wednesday. Experts have said that there will, is in fact no clarity right now on what exactly this meeting will achieve. And here's why. Remember that the parties to the nuclear deal already have a separate forum. It's called the Joint Commission. The 2015 nuclear deal lays out all the possible action that the Joint Commission can take in case of a breach. But U.S. can play no role here. This is because when U.S. pulled out of the nuclear deal last year, it also pulled out of the Joint Commission. Now, sure, IAEA has some powers, but uh, those are limited. Now, the IAEA is in charge of verifying the restriction of Iran's nuclear activities as imposed by the deal. But the IEA, in fact, the IAEA has repeatedly said that it is up to the signatories of the nuclear deal to decide whether Iran has breached any terms. Now, let's take a look at who the other signatories of the deal are. There's Russia, there's China, there's France, Britain and Germany. Now, Iran has said that it will breach the terms of the deal one by one in retaliation to U.S. sanctions. Tehran said that as of now, the 7th of July, it will enrich uranium beyond the 3.67% purity cap imposed by the deal. Tehran did not, in fact, give any option to the other signatories to help it bypass the U.S. sanctions in return of Iran's loyalty of the deal. Gibraltar yesterday has intercepted a super oil tanker that was carrying Iranian oil to Syria at the behest of Britain and this was flared up. Tensions again, once again, between Iran and the West. The latest development, a senior commander in Iran's elite revolutionary guards has warned that it is Tehran's duty to seize a British oil tanker if Iranian oil tanker detained in Gibraltar was not released. A British official said that the crew on the giant tanker was in fact uh, being interviewed as witnesses and not as criminals. Earlier, Iran had summoned the British ambassador in Tehran to complain about what it claims is an illegal move by the British Royal Marines. Iran's foreign ministry also said that the seizure of the Panama flagship is quote-unquote a form of piracy. It said that the act does not have any legal and international basis and that the tanker must be released immediately. Iran added an quote here. The mover indicates that the UK follows the hostile policies of the US, which is unacceptable for the Iranian nation and the government, unquote. U.S., meanwhile, has welcomed the move by the British forces. White House National Security Advisor John Bolton has tweeted, Excellent news. U.K. has detained the super tanker Grace 1 Laden with the Iranian oil bound for Syria in violation of U.N. In fact, these EU sanctions. America and our allies will continue to prevent regimes in Tehran and Damascus from profiting of this illicit trade, unquote. Now, this is how all this started. The, the dramatic seizure of the 330-meter-long tanker happened in Gibraltar. Now, Gibraltar is a tiny British territory on the southern tip of Spain. Now, yesterday, British Royal Marines, along with the police and customs agents in Gibraltar, stopped the Iranian super tanker. UK said that, uh, the, in fact, carrying Iranian crude oil to Syria is a breach of the European Union sanctions. 
the British Navy boarded the Grace One vessel at Gibraltar. According to the BBC, at least 30 Marines from 42 commandos were flown from the UK to Gibraltar for the operation. The first Marines to board the ship descended by rope from a chopper. From, in fact, this was from a chopper. The remaining Marines uh, approached the super tanker in speed boats. This drama in a way is unprecedented. This is what the Chief Minister of Gibraltar said after that. The early hours of this morning, Gibraltar port and law enforcement agencies, assisted by a detachment of Royal Marines, boarded a super tanker carrying crude oil to Syria. We have detained the vessel and its cargo. This action arose from information giving the Gibraltar government reasonable grounds to believe that the vessel, the Grace One, was acting in breach of European Union sanctions against Syria. In fact, we have reason to believe that the Grace One was carrying its shipment of crude oil to the Banyas refinery in Syria. That refinery is the property of an entity that is subject to European Union sanctions against Syria. Now, sure, Europe has banned oil shipments to Syria. It has been eight years since the ban, but no tanker has ever been seized at sea for carrying oil to Syria. Now, coming to the question of Iranian sanctions now, it should be noted that Europe unlike the United States, it does not have broad sanctions against Iran. So what really led to this dramatic and unprecedented detention is an interesting question. Now, what is also interesting is that Spain's reaction to the entire episode. Spain's acting foreign minister, Josep Borrell, said that the action followed a demand from not just the UK, but also the US. Naturalmente estábamos al corriente de esta operación. Las patrulleras de la Guardia Civil han estado securizando la zona, pero estamos estudiando las circunstancias en las que se ha producido, puesto que ha sido una petición que han dirigido los Estados Unidos al Reino Unido, y estamos viendo de qué manera afecta a nuestra soberanía en la medida que se ha producido en unas aguas cuya soberanía entendemos que es de España. Reports in the British media to suggest